I'm going to talk about getting loans with bad credit to get land. The first thing you want to do is find cheap land. And you can do that research and you can look around to find cheap land. And I wrote a little book about how to find cheap land. And if you want to, you can click on the link that's in the description below. Not all cheap land is good land. You want to make sure that you have cheap land that is not in a flood zone. You also want to make sure that the land you're looking at has the zoning that you want. So you have to know what you're going to use your land for. If you want to have um, farm animals, you're going to need a piece of property that's zoned agricultural. So you have to make sure you're looking for a piece of property that's not in a flood zone, that is zoned agricultural, that has a good well on it or the possibility of drilling a well that gets water. You have to play it smart. You're gonna to have to, since you have bad credit, you're gonna to have to buy a small quality piece of land. So that's what you're gonna look for. If you have a piece of property that is a nice piece of property, you know, it's zoned what you want, it's not in a flood zone, it doesn't have any um, easement or accesses through it, you know, it's just a nice piece of property, and you're much more likely to be able to get financed for that small, nice piece of property. So when you have bad credit and you're trying to get a loan for land, you're gonna have three options. I'm gonna go over those one by one right now. Option number one is to own or finance. And basically you are still getting a loan, but what it is is the owner of the property basically holds your mortgage. So you're gonna be dealing with that person directly. I just want to make a point, and this is very, very important. If you do owner finance, make sure you use a title company. So it's going to be the owner you're purchasing the land from, you, and then you have the third person in the middle, which is the title company, which is, you know, comes, brings you two together, and they do a title search to make sure there's no liens on that property, and they drop the paperwork and just get everything all squared away. They know what to file where, and it just works really well if you do that. Okay, so here's like a, the quick version of how I did it. I didn't have bad credit, I basically had no credit. So what I did is I just scoured the papers and I just looked at a lot of different pieces of land and then, you know, I knew what I wanted, what I didn't want. And so, well, basically, like I still didn't, I wasn't like an expert, but basically I had an idea of what I wanted and stuff and what I didn't. So then, you know, I found the land after looking at lots of pieces talk to the people of course and then just worked out a deal to owner finance i contacted a title company and just made arrangements through that and then just after all that's done it's just bing bang boom it's yours and so then you're off and starting your new journey on your homestead option number two is to find a small land broker company. That's what I did. I bought a piece of property through a land brokerage on this piece of property actually. And what that is, is it's a very small company that it goes around and finds pieces of property and then they resell it. Like that's just their job, whatever. So you can go to them and they can actually have several pieces of property that they can show you that they have for sale. And the thing is, the important part is about the company is they do the financing. There's still no need for a bank to be involved. They do it. And they're usually much more lenient than going to a bank. You know, a bank just is very stringent. They're very picky and it's just like, they're the hardest to deal with in my opinion. So the land brokerage company is a great way to have like one stop shopping where they can show you several pieces of property to choose from. So that's a good one to look into. And there's a lot of them out there. Just search land broker and then your state and then there'll be a list of them that you can contact. Option number three is you can pay cash. If you search around and find a piece of property that is a very good deal and a very low price, which you can do that, and then you, or if you're in a situation like you're still, you're young, you're still living at home, but you don't have any big bills or expenses, you can just save, save, save. You have an opportunity there 
to save, save, save. And you know, it wouldn't take you too awful long to save five, six, seven thousand dollars. So with that money, you would be able to buy a piece of property somewhere. It's definitely doable and it's a good option for some people. You can do it. And you'll be so happy, it'll be so nice because you'll be like, I've accomplished your first goal to get your land, you got your home base now, and you can just start taking your baby steps to develop your homestead. It is so exciting and so much fun. It's very healthy for you. You'll be learning new skills. It's just like an awesome journey and I highly recommend it.